Hey yo, listen man, bring Prince and Mukamura back, bro. <laughs> Start the hashtag, bring Prince home. I don't even know, man. Listen, I see you lurking over there, Prince. I see you in the proverbial stands of, you know, Giants media and Giants fandom, bro. You know you want to come back. You know you want to come back to the the organization that started it all for you, man. Come on back, man. You know, just on a, just on a cheap price. But before we get a little bit more into that, <laughs> let me just kind of do a little bit of channel announcements and whatnot. Uh, kind of what the future ongoings of the channel is going to be, right? So, and I'm going to put the timestamp down as usual for you guys. So, right now I'm actually in between classes recording this. Um, and hopefully I'll have the time in between classes to edit it and put it up But as of right now, it's looking like a kind of rough schedule for how the channel is going to be for the next couple of weeks is gonna be like Monday I'll probably be doing streaming alone on Monday. That will be the main stream Tuesday I'll definitely have a video while Wednesday will probably be a video and a stream Thursday would probably be a vid and then Friday a stream now that's still a lot more time than I expected to have but that's a rough schedule at the very least the streaming stuff that's um that's down pat I'm always gonna stream on Monday Wednesday and Friday unless I got an exam or something because you know I stream during the night that's after my classes in terms of videos Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday you know specifically I have a good amount of time on the on those days. Oh no, I meant Friday. What am I saying? Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, I have a good amount of time on those days. Uh, maybe it'll be like you know a bunch of update vids. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. But that's just kind of a rough schedule. Um, and let's get back to this print stuff right here real quick, just to keep y'all updated. Oh, by the way, um, I finally got my recap video up of the blue white scrimmage, and I got skid up. So back to the Prince news. I, I went on to Twitter because I was like free time. Let's go to Twitter. That's the first place I go. R. Stapleton, Prince has been, you know, he retweeted, I think, a Raiders reporter that was like, Prince has been released by the Raiders and whatnot. And the first thing that came into my mind was, oh, this is, this was a good cornerback number two. Now, that's the first thing that came to my mind. The second thing that came to my mind was bring Prince home. Because obviously, you know, he was drafted by us, former first round pick, I think, was it 2010 or 2011? Uh, doesn't matter. He spent his entire rookie contract with us, was not re signed. And I'm not sure why he wasn't re-signed. I wasn't into the Giants like that that much. I'm just going to assume um, it was probably some type of contract dispute. Maybe he wanted a little bit more money than the Giants were offering. Maybe it was just Jerry Reese being Jerry Reese. Who knows? Whatever the case may be, Prince is a solid cornerback and definitely going to be a solid number two cornerback, a good number two cornerback that the Giants need right now. I mean, Ross Cockrell was somebody I thought would be a perfect fit for the Giants in terms of money, in terms of how he plays, in terms of the fact that he played with Bradbury last year, his talent level and his production level. And Prince is just as good as, if not better than Ross Cockrell. In fact, I would say that Prince is better, but I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I haven't watched the guy play since he was with the Giants. You know, he had a he had a good stint with the Bears, actually. I don't know how he was with the Raiders. I didn't even know he was with the Raiders until I saw the tweet. Of my knowledge, he still was with the Bears. But Prince is somebody I'll be very happy to bring back to the Giants, man. Not only the reunion story, you know what I'm saying? Once a Giant, always a Giant. But once again, he would slide right in there at the cornerback number two spot, in my opinion. He would be a nice, solid starter. I mean, there's not even any type of question as to whether or not he would fit in with the Giants right now he's a really good teammate and he's a very coachable guy I mean from we notice as Giants fans I don't even need to go like I do with free agents like everything you heard out of this camp or everything you heard from this coach and whatnot we know what he was like with the Giants he was a great teammate and he was always open to learning new things and being coached by the head coach or by the defensive coordinator and whatnot and in terms of the injury concerns, which has been one since, you know, funnily enough, the beginning of his career, he faced the same injury that Xavier McKinney has right now, which is the fifth metatarsal, or uh, I might be pronouncing that wrong, um, somewhere in your foot. Uh, he came back, you know, basically, I think, late in his rookie year, and he had a solid career since then. He's had, you know, other injury concerns throughout his career, but for the past two, three years or so, he's basically figured out a way to stay on the field and stay productive and healthy while on the field. And in terms of money, he should be affordable for the Giants. It's surprising I'm saying this because Ross Cockrell should have been a done deal with no question about affordability. But Prince, in my opinion, is even more of a done deal because with Vegas, he was on a one-year $1.187 million deal. That's basically the vet minimum because correct me if I'm wrong, the vet minimum is basically 
like around a million dollars right around there prince he's no under no delusions of what he once was or what he had the potential to be you know one of the best starting corners in the league or anything like that he's under no such delusions which kind of goes back to what i was saying good teammate very coachable he'll be very cheap to bring in for the giants and i do know of course the whole logan ryan thing i didn't really speak on it much in any of my recent videos even in the uh live stream last night the tripod it barely came up with um the giants are definitely interested in logan ryan now because the price has gone down and of course ryan has stated that hey i'm a safety you know he basically said that on twitter i'm basically a safety now and that has really caught the attentions of both Giants fans and media alike. You know, the attention being that he, I'm pretty sure he got a new agent. There's a lot of reports saying that there's mutual interest between him and the Giants now. And of course, his price coming down. And now we got two uh, free agent prospects out here that will be pretty nice fit for the Giants. Logan Ryan as coming in as a free safety that would take the spot of Xavier McKinney. Um, and maybe, maybe Julian Love would still be involved as a, another form of that three safety you know triplet up there that Patrick Graham might try to run with this defense and you got Prince Mukamura as the second cornerback I mean maybe that is something they're looking to do I'm just I'm a lot more for the Prince Mukamura signing or you know re reunion that I am for the Logan Ryan signing and that's nothing against Logan Ryan as a player I just I, I really wanted to see Julian Love try and develop more as a safety um this year because I mean they put him there for a reason last year he he was better at safety last year than he was at slot corner and of course Julian Love he even has the chops to even be a outside corner you know the dude is versatile as versatile can be so a part of me just kind of wants to see him develop and I'm very torn on that situation because I'm like do I want to see him develop and struggle and then potentially bring down the overall performance of the secondary this year or do I want to get a Logan Ryan who might be cheap and you know who might have genuine interest to come to the Giants and then he'll perform you know admirably there in the secondary Logan Ryan is no slouch uh, that's where that's where I'm a bit confused but I'm definitely not confused at all on the Prince thing I would love to have him back he would be more than good enough as a second corner and that would really take a lot of stress off of both fans media and the Giants defense all three of us alike when it comes to you know concerns about the secondary right now and that's really all I got to say on the topic. Very short, quick update video for you guys. Hope you took something away from it. Put your comments down below. Don't forget, I will be live tonight for the Madden stream. That's not going away anytime soon. I actually got a new webcam, so that'll be fun to test out. I won't be using my phone as my webcam anymore. Uh, so now I'll actually have access to a lot more things at my hand immediately during streams and whatnot. And I'll speak a little bit more on the schedule and, you know, upcoming channel updates and whatnot over there. That's it for now. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.